In this video, we'll create a timer triggered Azure function in Visual Studio Code in two minutes. With my Azure Functions extension installed, I'll select Control Shift P. I'll select Azure Functions Create Function. I'll select my Timer Trigger Function folder. I'll select Python as my programming language. I'll skip Create a Virtual Environment for now. I'll use the Timer Trigger template. I'll leave the default Timer underscore Trigger. This is where I can create the schedule for my Timer Triggered Azure Function. You can learn more about cron expressions with examples on this page, which I'll link in the description. I'll set this up to run every 30 seconds so that we can see it execute often. I can now see the files for my Azure function. Let's add some exclamation points to see this easier in the logs. I'll save this and now let's run it. I'll start running this local Azure function with the Azure Function Core Tools CLI. I use the command func start. Our timer triggered Azure Function is working and we can see that it's executed once already. This will continue to execute every 30 seconds until we stop it. To deploy this to Azure, we'll create a function app that we can publish this Azure Function to. I'm in a newly created function app within Azure. I can check the properties to make sure that it's using Python because all functions in newly created function apps must all use the same runtime. I'll copy the name of this function app and go back to VS Code. Within VS Code, I'll open up my terminal and using the Azure Function Core Tools CLI, I'll publish my Azure Function to Azure. Func Azure Function App Publish the name of my function app. Publishing was successful, and I can confirm from the Azure extension that our timer triggered Azure function was deployed to our function app. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to this channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.